Psalms 37, 23 says the steps of a good and righteous man are directed and established by the Lord. And he delights in his way and blesses his path. He's the master planner. He knows exactly where you're supposed to end. He knows where you are. He knows where you come from. And because he has this grand master plan, just like an architect knows where the entire building is supposed to go, he knows how it's supposed to look like. But sometimes as you are constructing, if you are employed in the same project, you'd wonder, what is the man trying to do? Why are we doing this that way? But the person that made that architecture plan knows exactly what is supposed to happen. That architect of our lives is God himself. He knows what the big plan is. He knows what the end game is. He knows how it's supposed to look at the end of the day. He knows how to move it from one step to the other. And that's why the Bible tells us he's the one that directs us and he's the one that establishes us. And that's why he says in Romans 8.14 that for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. They are the mature children of God. So you have to understand this, that if you are claiming to be a child of God, then your steps are supposed to be ordered of the Lord. It is the Spirit of God that is supposed to direct you. You are not supposed to be the one leading yourself. He's the one supposed to lead the way. You are supposed to follow him. 